Okay, let's start. In this video, I'm going to be looking at the Year 9 Mathematics Assignment Credit Card Debt Task. So in this case, I've told my class that they have been given a $1,000 limit to buy some Christmas presents. They use up all their limit, and then they have to consider what's going to happen to that debt over time. So I've constructed an Excel sheet I'll show you in a minute that will demonstrate how to, uh, and I'll demonstrate how to do this. So in part one, you create a table on your spreadsheet and you calculate the answers to these questions. How much will you owe at the, the end of the first month? How much will you owe after three months? And how much will you owe after a year? So let's have a look. Okay, another thing to mention is each of you who are doing this assignment have been given a different interest rate, which we'll copy into here, and a different fee, which we'll copy into there. All right, so the interest rate will be found at the bottom of your assignment. So my one is a bit different. I've actually set my own interest rate and my own annual fee, which is a little bit different to what yours will be. So you have to do your own. Okay, once you copy these numbers into those places, we can then use um, this spreadsheet to do some calculations. Now, the formula we're going to be using is the simple interest calculation, um, remembering that this calculates I, which is the interest earned, uh, from the principal, which is how much money you start, start with, uh, and your uh, rate, interest rate, which we um, have got from the bottom of our assignment, and the time in years, which is T. Okay. However, we'll be calculating this for each month, and each month has a different number of days. So we basically need to multiply the principal with the rate and with the time, which will be this many days out of a year. So let's have a try. Okay, so start by pressing equals. We're going to click on this value. Um, yeah, that's fine. We're going to multiply by the interest rate. And we're going to multiply by the time. The time is 31 divided by 365. Okay. And you see you get that interest there. All right. Now, to work out the debt, <clears throat> you after the first year, uh, sorry, after the first month. Now, in the first month, you will still be $1,000 in debt plus the interest earned plus the annual fee. Now you only have to do this part once. So this row is going to be a little different from the other ones. But there we go. So after the end of January, you now owe $1,087.51. Okay. Now, next, we're going to actually do a, this calculation a little bit differently because if we even paid nothing else, then we're going to accrue debt on the uh, the principal amount and also all the interest we earn. So this is going to be our new principal. So when we're doing the following rows, we're actually going to, our P will be the previous debt value. So we're going to click over there. So we've got G3, star. Okay, the interest rate does not change. Now, later on, we're going to drag this and make it repeat the operation, but uh, that will update the rows, uh, so particularly the, the debt row needs to update, so you'll be copying the next one over and so on and so forth. Um, but the problem is it will also move this interest rate down. So the way to stop that is we're going to click into here. We're going to put a dollar sign there and a dollar sign here. What that does is it indicates that this is actually a constant value and not to update it, so it fixes it in place. All right, now the time, again, the number of days, converted to years by dividing by 365. Now, that should work. Okay, so if we drag that down, you notice we don't get any values, we get zeros in this case. You might get some other sort of error. That's fine, this will update when we fix the other parts. Okay, so coming over here. Okay, our debt this time will be um, the debt that we already had, plus the new interest charges. 
Okay. Now, so we've actually updated that one. You notice how this one also updated. That's what's going to happen when we drag this down. Now, this operation will continue for the following rows. Okay. And then we've gone and done it. So we notice that there's a bit of fluctuation. Sometimes you get values lower than the previous month, but in general, there's an upward trend. You get values smaller because you switch between 31 and 30 days. Uh, but you notice there is an increase over time. All right. So now to just copy this down after one after one month i will owe $1,087.51 actually i can just do this let's just do equals boom all right if you know if you get this kind of hash business just make your rows a little bit wider and that fixes it up after 3 months so month 3 january february march Really, February, March, after March, you owe that much. And after one year, let's see what happens at the end of December. Okay, we have that. All right, congratulations. You've pretty much done part A. So remember, you need to be doing this with your own values. Give it a crack, see how you go.